This gaming laptop has an RTX 3050 Ti and a Ryzen 7 5800X, but it doesn't run that good of FPS. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get 500 plus FPS on any gaming laptop. So go ahead and right click and press show more options and then go ahead and open Nvidia control panel. And then once you've done that, it's gonna go ahead and open it. It might tell you to accept some things and then just go ahead and click the first one and then go to the second option right there or the third one and then slide it to from quality to performance. And once you've done that, Go ahead and click the apply button and it should take a little bit to apply and then go ahead and click the second one and then click take me there and go ahead and just copy every single one of these settings that I have right now. And then once you've done that, you should be just about done with that section. And then basically just go ahead and click yes. And then it's going to take you to the next one. Just go ahead and copy these settings right here. Make sure on 1920 by 1080 native and then just copy those settings too to put them to the best ones. Make sure you're using the Nvidia settings. And then for this one, Digital Vibrance, put that to that number. And then you can just really just copy these settings. You don't have to really worry about these. These ones don't really matter that much. And then if you guys have uh, G-Sync, you guys to turn on G-Sync. You guys can go ahead and do that and then go ahead and copy all these settings. Now, I believe these settings don't really matter, but those are what the settings look like. And uh, yeah, you should be done with that. So go ahead and open GeForce Experience. And once you have it open, just go ahead and log in and go to drivers and click check for updates. And once you've done this, you should have to download it. And then just go ahead and download through Express installation. Go ahead and open Epic Games Launcher and click on the three dots, click options and go ahead and uninstall some of these things right here, like streaming, cosmetic streaming, make sure you have that checked mark. And the DX12 shaders have that off unchecked mark and high resolution textures. Make sure you uncheck mark those. Just go ahead and copy those settings. So for this, go ahead and search disk and go ahead and click on it. Click defrag and go ahead and click on your drive and just go ahead and optimize the drive. Go ahead and do this about two times for each drive that you have. If you have a hard drive, it's going to say defrag. It's going to take a while, but just go ahead and do it. So go ahead and search disk again and go ahead and click the first one this time. And go ahead and just go ahead and check mark every single one that you have to check mark and then just go ahead and click clean and then okay and then just click delete files so go ahead and search power and go ahead and open it up now if the power plan doesn't come up for you like this you should be able to see high performance you should be good so for windows settings go ahead and search and go into settings and go ahead and just open it now basically what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to gaming and go ahead and turn off xbox game bar Make sure you have this off and go to captures and make sure you turn off anything from hyper or put your games to high performance on this one and go ahead and go back. And basically the next thing is just go ahead and go back to gaming and turn off captures right here. Make sure you have this off the recording in the background. You really just want to make sure for that and make sure you just have this off pretty much and just go ahead and copy these settings. So in settings, go ahead and click on system and go ahead and click on storage and turn off storage sense. Make sure you have this off because this really helps with FPS. So go ahead and search on search. Go ahead and search startup apps and go ahead and click on the first one that comes up and go ahead and turn off any startup apps that you do not need. So it is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. This video did help you out in absolutely any way. And don't forget to use supporter credit code SWITCHY in the item shop. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and peace out.